So this week on the Premier Music Vlog, uh, we've got sax, flute, and clarinet instructor Tony White. Um, and we just heard him play in a little bit. Um, first thing I'm going to ask you is, is, what was your education like? Well, I was lucky enough to study privately from the time I was in the fifth grade. And I uh, studied privately all the way through high school. And uh, after high school, I went to Berkeley College of Music and the New England Conservatory. And uh, I also attended UCLA when I moved out to California. So I have degrees in performance and in composition. Very cool. Once you got out of school, uh, what kind of working did you do as a musician? Well, the first gigs were your hotel circuit kind of bands. And uh, was with a funk band that toured the United States for about two years. And uh, we eventually wound up opening up for a group called the Atlanta Rhythm Section, which was a group that had some hits in, back in the 80s. And uh, that was a great experience for me as, as a young player, and to be out on the road and to be able to make money and to sustain myself as a musician. Very cool. What, uh, what are some of your favorite or, or biggest gigs that you've done over the years? I've been very lucky, Mark. Uh, I've been able to play some great venues like Madison Square Garden, the Hollywood Bowl, uh, Red Rocks in Colorado. Uh, I've worked with Tony Bennett, worked with The Four Tops, The Temptations, worked with, uh, was musical director for 10,000 Maniacs and Natalie Merchant for a bunch of years. Did a bunch of appearances on MTV and Jay Leno and things like that. So I've been very lucky to do some really nice, nice, nice gigs. Very cool. So you've, you've actually played some really, really big venues yeah. and done some cool tours. Yeah. Um, as far as, as like what you would actually do with, with a student here, like if you were teaching someone who's just getting started on, on one of these instruments, what would the, the first few steps be? Well, first of all, introduce them to the instrument, let them know what the instrument does and what it's all about. The mechanics of the instrument are very important. Um, then the proper posture, believe it or not, is very important before they even put the instrument in their mouth, how to sit. I teach a student how to breathe correctly from the lower part of the abdomen. Um, and then just get them into the basic principles of playing an instrument, scales, long tones, chords, and uh, get them to experience what it's like to actually make the sound come out of the horn. Very cool. Now if you were to get uh, a more advanced player, or someone, you know, sometimes here at Premier we get guys that are, are semi-pro or professional players sure. that want to blow up on their skills, sure. um, what are some of the things that you, you might talk to with them? Sure. Well, um, you know, depending on where they wanted to go musically, I would imagine if they're at that level, they'd want to get more into improvisation and blues and jazz. And uh, I'd be able to assess their level just by listening to them and play a little bit and uh, go from there as far as teaching them a little bit more theory, a little bit more about harmony, and then more of the mechanics of, of whatever instrument they're playing, saxophone, clarinet, or flute. Um, obviously, the more advanced, the more you need to know on your horn. And uh, there are exercises and all kinds of great studies that we do to get a player up to the level that he'd be able to go out and do a gig. Very cool. Um, you also teach our, our jazz combo class or the ensemble yeah. class here. Yeah. Uh, what are the, some of the things that you guys work on with that? That's a really fun class. Uh, every week it's different. We go through different eras of jazz. You know, we started with the swing era in the 30s. We moved into the bebop era. We've moved into the funk jazz era. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that we do. There's reading that's involved, how to become a good sight reader and how to look at something right away and be able to play it. And then there's improvisation as well. And I go over uh, whatever the chord scales are, whatever the improvisational modes are. And, uh, and then we do a lot of group improvisation as well. So you're able to hear everybody else around you improvise and maybe pick up some ideas from your fellow students and not just the teacher. Very cool, very cool. Um, I guess the last thing I wanted to ask about because you do you uh, write for film. I do. So you know, have you been uh, doing much in the way of that lately? I have. I've been writing some uh, music for libraries in New York, and uh, some of my recent music has been heard on HBO and MTV actually as well. Very cool. Now, for the most most folks don't know what a music library is. What is music that? Music library is is something that would supply music to a number of television shows, where they're not just paying one composer. It's a group of different composers that submit music for a particular show, and uh, they would pick the music from, instead of one composer, about 20 or 30 different composers. And usually it's more cost effective for the Much production. Much more cost effective for them, and that's really what's happening today. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Cool. All right. Thanks, Tony. This, thank is, uh, this is the end of this week's installment of the Premier Music Vlog.